Hi everyone, in this video we have to determine if the series converges or diverges. We're going to do this using something called the limit comparison test. So when you're using the limit comparison test, the first thing you want to do is ident identify your a sub n. So this piece here is going to be our a sub n. The next step is to find b sub n. So b sub n needs to be something that has the same growth rate as this. So you'll notice that there's a 2 here. So as n gets really big, uh, if you have n squared plus 2, the 2 is pretty irrelevant. So you basically just look at the leading terms. So something like this, 1 over n squared. If n is positive, you can just do this, and life is good. I say that because the square root of n squared is actually equal to the absolute value of n, but n here is going to be an integer, so we can just drop the absolute value. All right, so that's what we're going to compare it with. So let's go ahead and do the next step. The next step in limit comparison is to verify that this limit, as n goes to infinity, of a sub n over b sub n is finite and positive. And what this does is it just verifies mathematically that both a and b have the same growth rate. So this is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity. So our a sub n is 1 over the square root of n squared plus 2. And then we're dividing by b sub n. That's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So times, so the reciprocal of b sub n is uh, n over 1. And you can see that when n is big, we have n. And this, this down here is basically n. So we're just going to get 1, which is finite. and positive. So we can use the limit comparison test. So LCT applies. And so what LCT says is whenever you can use it, that our original series and the sum of the b's will both behave the same. So if the sum of the b's converges, then our original series converges. If the sum of the b's diverges, then our original series diverges. Let's go ahead and investigate the sum of the b's. Now notice that our original series starts at 0, so you got to be careful here. We have to start this at 1, otherwise we're going to end up dividing by 0. It's not going to make a difference at all in the outcome, though. Um, this just has an extra term, that's all, so it won't make a difference. This is a divergent p-series. Why? Because it has p equal to 1, which is less than or equal to 1. Remember, this is the p there. So if p is uh, bigger than 1, it converges. If it's less than or equal to 1, it diverges. So this diverges. So thus, our original series, our OG series, original series, diverges by the LCT, limit comparison test. So if we had gotten convergence, then we would say that our original series uh, converges as well. So I did that pretty quickly, uh, not even four minutes. Um, really, really quick video. Um, hopefully it's made sense. And remember, when you're using LCT, basically you just call this a sub n. To find b sub n, usually you just take the leading terms. You take this limit, just say it's finite and positive, so LCT applies and then investigate the convergence or divergence of this series. If this one converges, then your answer is converges. If this one diverges, then your answer is diverges. Good luck.